Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial in Camtasia 2020, I'm going to show you a little trick I figured out to allow you to equalize the light and the color on a green screen so that you can remove it effectively even after you've recorded your video and you realize that maybe your green screen was not colored evenly. So that's one of the problems you can have if you record yourself with a green screen and are planning to remove the green screen in Camtasia later and the lighting is not perfectly even across the surface of the green screen, then you may have problems removing it. So I had a video like this recently and I thank my friend Chris Menard for allowing me to use his video because when I had to process one of his videos, he uh, recorded it and the light was off. As you can see here on the right side, so if I increase the size of this, this is the video that Chris recorded and you can see that the background green screen is actually darker on the right side and lighter on the left side. And you probably know that Camtasia does have the remove color filter, which you can access from the visual effects, remove a color. So if I drag this effect onto my video stream that has the green screen recording, you can select the color from the right side here and use the color picker to choose the color you want to remove. So although this is a green screen, look what happens if I choose this lighter color. It does remove that color and colors close to that, but it doesn't remove everything and especially this dark area in the right here, it doesn't remove it. Now Camtasia does have tolerance controls and softness and all these controls to help adjust your removal but your color but it doesn't do a perfect job if you notice if i tweet if i put push, push the tolerance all the way too high to remove the green completely the person also disappears because the color may be close to what i'm doing with the tolerance if i if i play with the softness a little bit maybe i i could get a better result but in the end when I play the video, you will see all of this noise and also there's a piece of the person missing there. So this is not a perfect recording, but instead of asking Chris to re-record this, I figured out a trick to actually remove the green screen perfectly. So I wanna demonstrate this now. So I have the video here. This is the video. So I'm gonna remove the color for a bit for the effect. So. I want to remove the green screen. Now I will obviously use the remove a color um, filter, which I'm going to drag on top of the uh, video stream here. And I'm going to select the green color, just like I did just now. So you can select the, the sort of the brighter area or the darker. It doesn't matter which one you start with. You can start with either of them because this is a two step process. So I'm going to remove the light color a bit and I don't have to struggle with the tolerance or anything else. So I have left the background here uh, for the screen recording. I've left that on there. It's blue. If I remove it, of course, it's going to be now black. So I want to leave this on there, but we're not going to use it. And um, it will just be serving uh, for us to see what's happening. So I'm just going to move this up here one level. So I have removed basically half of the green screen and the darker half I haven't because I can't. So what I can do is I can tweak the tolerance a little bit just to make sure that, you know, I'm not uh, sort of adding artifacts or, uh, you know, removing too much. I can also select this again and use the dark area. In this case, you can see I have removed the right side with the darker part of the green screen but of course the lighter side stays there. So this is step one, remove one part or another part of your uh, the, the, the light or the dark part of the green screen. Now here comes the second step. We will add an annotation to this scene just behind the green screen video. So I'm gonna go to annotations and to the shapes and just drag this shape here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. 
So I'm going to drag this black shape onto the scene, right? I'm not going to make it. Um, I'm going to make it as large as the entire scene. So I'm covering the whole scene, and moving it on my timeline behind the green screen video, and make sure it is spanning the entire duration. And the second one, the second operation we do on this shape, I am going to go to the color, uh, to the properties uh, for the annotation. And instead of the solid black background, I'm going to color that and I'm going to use the color picker, which if you can't see because it's off screen, I'm just going to pull this in a bit. So use the color picker, click on that and select the green that you are left with. OK, so you notice I am actually picking the color, the green color that is in my um, the, the leftover green screen. OK, so what this effectively does, it creates a, another background with another green screen color. But this time, this green screen color is more even because I'm using sort of a picking color from the left side to make the background on the right side. So this was the step two. Now, step three involves actually rendering the video to disk as an MP4 file, because another downside of Camtasia, in addition to the fact that you can't actually use tolerance controls and it doesn't have a, a wider range of selection for green screens, um, it also doesn't allow you to to select two colors to remove from your video. I wish they would add this for the next version, but for now we have to deal with this in this way. So what I've done here, I have removed the dark part of the green screen. I've added a background behind my video and I have colored that background with the light color of the green screen. So now, I basically have a recording with a very even green screen behind my video. So the next step is to render the video to disk as an MP4 file and then re replace my video in my project with the, the file that I've just rendered. So you go to share menu, of course, local file and export your file as an MP4 in the highest quality you can. So of course, custom production, go to next MP4. And then of course here, you know, check your quality, make it at least 75% and so on. And then go and select a uh, file on disk and then render your video out. And then I'm going to come back after I've rendered this video and I'm going to continue this tutorial for the final step. So I have rendered my video to disk and I'm going to import that video into my media bin right here. So I've, I've given it a name, uh, Chris intro green screen removed step one. OK, so this is my video that I've put on my disk. And what I'm going to do now is I am actually going to remove this video that I had before, which has the, uh, the backgrounds, the fake background and half of the screen green screen removed. When you do this in real life, in a real project, just make sure that you drag the new video, the, the exported video in the same position. So I'm going to drag that into the same position here. Uh, it may involve some uh, pieces of video that I edited out. So that's why the length might be different. So that's not a problem because you won't have this. You will actually export exactly the portion of video that you need. And this is I'm just going to remove now the old video. So you can see here, this is the video that I rendered. I'm just going to silence the audio a little bit. So you can see the video is playing again. It's playing normally. It's in place where it used to be. So now I can apply the visual effect remove color again on this exported video. So I'm going to apply that here and go and select the color with the color picker and I can pretty much choose any portion of my green screen now any piece of uh, green here because it is pretty much uniform. So I'm just going to click wherever and look at this. The green screen has been removed completely. So you can't see any more green artifacts 
I'm playing the video, it's perfectly nice, perfectly fine. So basically what we did was we have a video that started out as a non-uniform green screen and then we removed half of it with the remove color effect and then the other half we filled it with the uh, a background of the same color as the remaining green screen portion. So we basically equalized the lighting on the green screen using two steps and then we exported the video and imported it again and applied the remove a color effect again. So there you have it. You have a perfect removal of the uh, background this way. Even if in the recording stage, the lighting was not even. So this is one of the biggest problems you can have with green screens, uh, setting up the lights correctly so that you can record and be sure to be able to remove then the green screen uh, effectively. So if you happen to be unfortunate enough to have a project like that, this is a workaround and I hope it was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And if you enjoy my tutorials, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.